Okay, so next part of the drill, this is when if we fall off, if, we, if, we, if we're falling off the sit here, and he starts getting his knee down like he's gonna shrimp away like this here, okay? And we, we end up here. Uh, if they get their knee out here, he could bail. Um, if I'm not careful and I stay here too long, like, like maybe he can climb on my back or, or maybe he'll come up to his knees, that kind of thing, okay? So when we do, so I'm here, if I fall off, what I wanna do is I wanna cup his hips first and then this hand here is gonna go on top, on top of the knee. Because what he's trying to do right now is he's trying to shrimp away from me like this, okay? So what I'm gonna do to, to stay with him is I'm gonna push, I, you have to make sure you're on top here, like you can't just be on a random part, on top and I think like on top here. Cause I wanna push his leg that way, that's actually gonna keep me uh, connected to him and it's gonna keep him from escaping. So what I'm gonna do is I'm pushing on his hip and I'm pushing on his knee, so he starts pushing away and I'm here and here and here, okay? Uh, a good thing too that you can do is as he's pushing, if you rotate your back, uh, uh, you, you'll, you'll kind of wrist lock the guy. So as I'm going through, yeah, you'll kind of wrist lock him there if you catch that, right? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's especially if his arms are extended all the way and I rotate, I turn towards him, rotate here, I can start wrist locking him here. Now, keep, keep your form like this. Make sure you don't do anything like this, okay? Because, the, it, yeah, you, you get the chance of him taking your back here and elevating here. So when I'm here, I keep this form here. He's pushing, I'm pushing on top of his knee. I'm pushing back into him. When I feel like I don't get that much resistance anymore and my hips are pretty close to him, now I can start collecting, coming back to the sit, and now I can start unlocking and uh, whatever finish I want. This music, God bless this music. Uh, say it one time. This music, God bless. This is a blessing. Okay, so the next one here is uh, when he goes into like the crotch. There's a couple different things that, that can happen from here. S sometimes they'll do this just to open up your knees. If we start falling this way, he's gonna start coming up on top of me. So sometimes, some, sometimes he goes the crotch lift and guys are really good about putting you into 50-50. He gets this foot, come all the way across and he'll start attacking your heel. You know, po possibly I could try to attack his, but we wanna, we don't want to bring it into a 50-50 situation. Like, I, I want to be the one attacking. I don't want to put myself in danger. So, <clears throat> he'll go into the crotch lift here, okay? Now, th th this gets a little tough, but we, what we want to do is I want to sit my hip back to where I was. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my hands around because I'm kind of conflicted. If I have this arm in and my legs going this way, I'm, I'm twisting opposite directions. Just kind of go with it. Lock your hands. Go through. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to post my hand and I'm going to try to curl my heel close to his body here. Curl here, okay? And actually, we haven't found a lot of guys that once we can connect our, our uh, hand to the ground here, I start hipping this direction. It's gonna start taking his lock away. So I'm gonna start hipping, 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 here, here, okay? And then once I break his lock now, I can come back up here and kind of whatever finish we want. For the soul, no question. So pay attention before you flunk from guessing. This part got it start in modern day Babylon because of it. Look how many people now get along. It's proof how strong huh? unity can be strengthened. Okay, so the next one we're gonna work is uh, dealing with these Eskrima hooks. So when he Eskrima's underneath my leg here, uh, it'll be still tempting. Like I can still finish this knee bar because his feet are not not crossed and they're not nothing's blocking it. Problem is this is gonna be elevating my leg and it's gonna keep me from being able to pinch my knees together. And then this turns into a, a big scramble. It also makes it kind of hard to go back to a leg drag. I mean, he's got he's got my leg up. So if I try to leg drag, it's gonna be hard. So when we're coming here. What's gonna happen, he's gonna scream in here. I wanna push on the top of his knee here because I wanna push it this direction. Like, I don't wanna push it down. So I'm gonna push here. As I push through, my leg is gonna go over. Now, once I come over, I've gotta snatch this and pull it in tight. Okay, I had to pull it in tight because I, I don't want his legs going back underneath. And now I'm giving tension now. I'll release, push, and come back. And now we're just juggling to the other leg here, okay? Same thing, he'll put his scream hook in. I'm gonna push, push, snatch it up, and then push and go back to that leg. Now, if you scream is with the leg I'm attacking here, and again, it's, it's, uh, it's tough to clear this, he's gonna keep good tension. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my arm out, I'm gonna push this through, and I'm gonna go back to side control. Now, the, uh, I have to have my hips on the ground. Now there's two ways to get back to our sit position here, okay? If his knees are wide just like this here, or sometimes if he, if he even hips out a little bit, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty pretty easy step over here. Just make sure you don't step over lazy and let him uh, Get, get his hook, his uh, screamer hook. So I'm gonna step over, boom, collect the leg and come back, okay? Again, if your scream is under, we're clear in here, okay? In case his legs are closed now, okay? Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna high leg over and collect both legs here, okay? So I'm here, I'm high legging over, collecting both legs, pulling, and now I can choose wh whatever one I wanna attack, okay? I'll stick with this one. I'm gonna push, step over, and then I have my knee bar again, then we can finish however we like. 
God bless this music, huh? Say it one time. This music, God bless this music. Hip hop makes the world go round. This music makes the world go round. Hip hop makes the world go round. This is how it goes down. This is how it goes down. Hip hop makes the world go round. This music makes the world go round. As the world goes round and round, this is how it goes down. This is how it goes down. Ever been to a party without music? This would be a mad world without music. So watch how you.